In this video, I'm going to be talking about the biggest mistake you make when breeding for mutations in Ark Survival Ascended. So recently I made two breeding guides for how to do mota mutations. Whoa, the rain just came out of nowhere. So recently I made two breeding for mutation guide videos that go into details on how to do this effectively. But there is one thing I said that a, a bunch of people didn't really understand why I said it. I always said, do never breed with females that have mutations. Some people like to just ignore me and kind of do it anyway. In this video, I'm going to kind of explain why and like what happens to the mutation counters and how that can mess up your whole breeding process. I'm also going to show you how to fix it in case you've already done this. So while I'm not going to explain the entire breeding process from the previous videos, I recommend you check those out in the link in the description to catch yourself up if you do want to understand what I'm talking about in this video, because it can get quite complex and can confuse you really quickly. So in this video, I'm going to try to dumb it down as much as I can. So here we have our first pair of dinos that have zero mutations each, right? For example, if we go on the dad over here and we go click show ancestors, this is where we're going to be tracking the mutation counters. You can see here, now you'll see on every single dinosaur, you'll see its ancestry, where it came from, who its mother and dad were. And on the right hand side, you'll see the patrilineal ancestry line for the random mutations. This is out of 20. This is for if the father passes down a mutation. On the left hand side, we have the matrilineal ancestry line for their mutations out of there, which will also be out of 20, which you'll see as we go further down the list. Right now, this mom and this dad do not have any mutations. Now, eventually we bred them until we got a mutation in melee, and this is their son, which remember, we always focus on having sons with melee mutations, but down the line, I'll show you what happens if we have a female. But let me go show you the ancestors of the son with one melee mutation. You'll see there is now a mutation counter. It is one out of 20. This actually means means the mutation drops from the father side onto here that stays on the patrilineal side, whereas the matrilineal side is zero out of 20. Now this is great and all, we have the melee mutation, which if we use the binoculars, you can track there, you can see that the number two in the brackets there is the indication of a melee mutation for this dinosaur. Now we bred the son with the mom that has zero mutations as you always do. We ended up breeding a, another male, which is going to have two melee mutations. Now this is a rare chance of occurring. And you can see here it's melee damage has gone up in its mutations. You'll see there is two mutations out of 20 on the patrilineal side and zero on the matrilineal side. And if I look at the binoculars, you can see there is a four in the brackets over there for the mutations for the melee. So we have two mutations over there giving us four extra stats. Again, we bred this male with his mom that had zero mutations and we got a, another son, this time with three melee mutations, stacking all the mutations from before and adding its own melee one on top of it. And this creates a son that you'll see has a very interesting ancestry that you might be questioning. Now this one, you'll see it has two out of 20 mutations on the patrilineal side. And on the left hand side, it says one out of 20 for the matrilineal. Now, what this means is that every single time you get a mutation, it can either come from the father, and if it does, it will go into the patrilineal side, and if the mutation comes from the mother, it will spawn on the matrilineal side. In this case, he managed to get the mutation for the melee from the mother's side, but he kept the male's mutations from his dad on his side too, so it stacked and made three mutations even though it's split like this. Now this is where it gets very important to have females that have zero mutations because you're gonna see a little interesting trick that, that's gonna occur here with the game. All right, so now I'm going to make a female that has mutations and I'm gonna eventually breed it with this one, this male that has mutations to show you what happens when you breed two dinosaurs, both male and female, and if they both have mutations, how it messes up those mutation counters very badly. So. As always, this son, who's melee three, has two mutations in patrilineal, one in the matrilineal line there, which is fine. You should know that when you breed the males with a female that has zero mutations, for example, the mom, remember, has zero mutations. There's nothing at all. It will always move the mutations from the male on the matrilineal side over to the patrilineal side for the next time it breeds. Now you can see this indicated in the next child that we made here, which is a female in this case with the three melee mutations and one stamina mutation. But if we go ahead and we look at the ancestry, you can see here that one in the metrilineal from its father is now on the right hand side. It moved over 
to the right over here, but we still kept the stat increases, so it's not disappeared. We still have three melee mutations, and we also have a new stamina mutation that also landed and came from the farther side, and that's why it's over here. So if you follow my previous guides to the T, the matrilineal side will only ever go as high as one out of 20, and as soon as you breed it with a female with zero mutations, that one will move over to the patrilineal side. And the only other chance you get for another one here is when you get a follow-up mutation. So this will never go higher than one. If it does, you've done something wrong. You're breeding with females that have mutations. Now you're probably asking, why is that a bad thing? Why don't you want to breed these together? Okay, so we have this female here, has four mutations in the patrilineal side. And if you recall on the sun over here, it had mutations two over here and one in the matrilineal side. Now, if we breed these two together, the sun melee three with this female over here, basically its daughter, and we make a creature, we end up getting this mixed counter one, which if we go ahead and we go here, you'll see now we have four on the left and three on the right. It basically brings down the mutation counters from both of its parents. So now you're reaching that zero, that 20 counter on each side very quickly. In this case, you can see it says four mutations on the counter out of 20 for matrilineal and three out of 20 for the patrilineal. Now the kicker here is that it doesn't actually have mutations. The counters like breed down, but this creature over, over here only has three melee mutations. It, it managed to pull down the three melee mutations. It didn't get the stamina from its mom because we, we didn't breathe enough times to actually do it perfectly. For the sake of this video, I'm more focusing on that counter. So even though it says it might have like technically seven mutations, it only has three. Now this is a male. What if we breed it with its mom who had the four mutations in the patrilineal side and we make a new baby, which ends up being this male over here who now has four matrilineal mutations and seven patrilineal mutations. But the kicker here again is that we're breeding down the counters, but you can see we only still have three melee mutations. So this dinosaur, even though it has, it's listed like for 11 mutations on those counters in total, it only has the exact same amount as the sun with three melee mutations over here, which has the two and the one. If you get where I'm going here, this kind of creates a huge, a huge drop until you eventually end up getting to like, you know, big numbers here. Like this is the follow-up baby that has four mutations in matrilineal, 11 in patrilineal. And a follow-up baby from this one, since this one was female, we bred it with this male that we had before. And we ended up getting a insane one that has 11 mutations under patrilineal and 15 under matrilineal. It sounds insane. It sounds like, oh my God, I'm doing this great. I'm great at mutations, but but no, this, this creature over here only has three melee mutations, which is a huge problem. Now, the reason why this is a problem is because when this counter goes like the left-hand side here, where it says 11, if this goes over 20, you're no longer able to get stat increases from mutations. You can still get mutations and, and get color mutations and this counter will still go up, but you won't ever get stat increases like mutations from the father side. And if you keep dupe breeding with moms that have mutations, the left-hand side here is going to fill up too. If you end up having both of these sides where it says 15 over 20, if this was like 20 over 20 and this was 20 over 20 or like higher than 20, for example, you won't ever be able to get stat increases from your mutations anymore. It, it, will, it will only ever be three melee mutations or whatever you had before that counter, those counters ran out. Now, I just want to remind you that this, this male over here with 11 patrilineal mutations and 15 matrilineal mutations is exactly the same as its original dad. It is a level seven. It's exactly the same as the sun with three melee mutations right over here where it just says two and one. Like we've it's theoretically avoided making that mistake by only breeding with females with zero mutations to keep the line very clean. And if you do it this way and you breed with females that have zero mutations, you will fill up this patrilineal way over 20. This doesn't mean like, oh, you can only have 20 mutations here and then it's done. You can go as mad as you want because every single time you breed with a female that has zero mutations and you only keep sons that have mutations to breed with their mothers afterwards, this counter here can go up to like thousands, millions, billions even. In the old game, it used to go into like a negative billion. It was crazy. 
because every time you breed with a female with zero mutations, it will move the one on the left-hand side onto the right-hand side. You will have to note that every mutation you get on the father side will no longer actually give you stat increases, but every mutation you get from your mother's side after the side is filled will still give you mutations. So you always want to keep one side open so that you can still get stat increases. And then, you know, when you breed, you end up passing them across. Now there is a way to fix this, right? So we have this, this, this one over here, this one that we've really messed up with 11 mutations here and 15 on matrilineal. Right? You can take this one or breed until you eventually have a male again. Right, This is a male. It only has three male mutations, but let's say this is the only male you have left in the line or like the only creature you have and you're like, ah, you've messed it up so far. How do you fix this? It is possible you need a male and you also need the clean females. That's the one of the most important things. You need the moms that had zero mutations. Now, if we go ahead and we take this this really messed up dinosaur here and we breed him with a mom or female that with has zero mutations, you'll see the baby of that, which I called fixed over here. This is a female, but essentially you'll be going for a male again. And if I go into its ancestry over here, you'll see all of the mutations from the matrilineal side, which there were 15 of, have moved over to the right hand side now. And you can see here it says 26 out of 20. Now, this is still only three three melee mutations, right? It's only three melee mutations. You can see by that six, by the melee counter over there. But you'll see that the matrilineal side is now open. So every time you breed this with a female that has zero mutations, you're going to have to hope that it gets a mutation on the matrilineal side so that the baby must have a one out of 20 here. And every time you get your next breed or your next mutation, that one will move over to the patrilineal side, still giving you the stat increases, still letting you progress your dinosaur, but it always requires you to use females that have zero mutations. Now, as confusing as this all sounds, it's all just simply avoided by using females that have zero mutations. That's, that's why you don't do it, guys. So everybody who's been commenting on like, I did this, don't do this because this is why. So yeah, I hope this helped explain that if you are curious as why you want to, don't want to do that. It is a lot of information to take in and understand, but I hope I've done justice and explained why you don't want to do it. And thank you so much for watching this video.